Hey guys, it's Dilly Chrissy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Hampton Falls Part 5. Oh my goodness, in the last part we had Crystal influencing all of her friends to come out to a bar under age and they were kind of partying and we're going to see how that turns out. As always, happy Hamptons tea time. Cheers to you guys. I'm loving seeing what you're drinking in the comments down below and do make sure to turn on notifications so you get notified when the next part of this comes out and give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the series and want to see more. Let's get into it. All right, so we are on top of a very, very big building at a rooftop bar. I mean, how cool would it be to be at this bar? Uh, IRL. I mean, look at this skyline and look at the ocean below and the island. I love it. I know it's islands, but I like calling it island because I don't know, I'm a bit silly sometimes. But anyway, this is the whole gang hanging out here. We've got Crystal, we've got our brother Joel, uh, Esther's over here in a cute little overall outfit feeling like a pretty naughty girl because she's never really been influenced by Crystal to come out before. And who is this chick? Naomi, the entertainer. I mean, I think Crystal would really like someone who's into music and entertainment and already working for herself. I think that's a nice break from the other kids that she goes to school with who are kind of spoiled or whatever. Uh, and we've got also Emmy over here. Oh my gosh, Colt is so sleepy. Oh, we should go hang out with Colt, wake him up, and maybe try and flirt a little bit because their relationship um, has gone up considerably. I think they are friends now. Where are we? Yeah, Colt's a friend, Colt's a friend. And uh, also we had Joel um, getting a little bit cozy with, ah, there's walls everywhere, with Ellie. Is Ellie still in the picture here? Where is Ellie? Oh, over here. No, she left, damn it. Oh, well, I thought Ellie and Cole, I mean, at least Ellie is Cole's age, which is good. Um, Chris is like, hey, sleepyhead, what's going on? Um, maybe she can do a little bit of a sexy pose and show that she's pretty interested in him. And uh, I wonder who he should be seeing, because I know his family won't want him seeing Crystal, that is for sure. Uh, and I feel like Esther's actually having a lot of fun. And I love Crystal's sneakers with her skirt. So cute. Okay, why why did you come to the bar where everyone else is? I feel like you should have stayed in privacy, Crystal. Why do you drag everyone to the bar? I guess she feels a little bit more cool and edgy around alcohol, perhaps. You know what? Maybe she should be like, hey, do you want to take off somewhere else? Because I feel like she's not getting that alone time we need with Colt. I mean, maybe we could go to the water's edge or something, uh, go to the Maishuno Meadows. That's always a romantic spot. So let's get rid of everyone on our list except for Colt Lockwood. They have a tiny little incy bit, incy bit, incy bit of romance, but I feel like we can definitely get that a little bit higher and... I know, I think his parents are gonna be so unhappy with him. It's only seven o'clock at night and everything is so low for these guys. Like we really do need a toilet stop before getting romantic. I mean, at least in this house, we can have a quick toilet stop. Let's just quickly run in here and wash our hands a few times just to get that hygiene back up. And it would be good to have something to eat, but there is no food. Ooh, we could break into here and she could make cult something. That's kind of cute and romantic. I'm sure that Food is a way to a man's heart does apply in this situation as well. And you know what? He's probably busting too. Yeah, he he needed to go. <gasps> Allison, curfew is about to start. If you don't go home soon, then you will get in trouble. Ugh. As if Crystal cares, Allison. Like, Crystal does not care at all. I mean, the good thing is at least Crystal can take care of herself. She has been able to pride herself that she does things by herself without just being a spoiled brat. So that's pretty cool. And I think Colt would find that really attractive. Cute! So these guys have like broken into this uh, community place where a lot of people have weddings and they're just hanging out together in this old shack, perhaps. If you leave, if you leave, I swear to God, Cole, I am not going to be happy. We are romancing you right now. He's going to leave, guys. Okay, let's call him back. No, Cole, don't leave us. We're going to make you food to your heart. Wait, what? Oh my, no way. If he can play piano... Okay. It's not that bad. 
I feel like he, he's at an okay level. Oh, I feel terrible. I thought he was leaving us and I was like, no, bring the mac and cheese. Okay, let's bring this mac and cheese over here and get these two romance in a little bit more. <gasps> they can have a picnic on the ground near the piano. This is so romantic, you guys. Uh oh, uh, let's just lower that to the ground. There we go, whoops. There we go. Uh, okay, let's call it a meal. This is so cute. They're having mac and cheese under the stars. This is the best break ever. They are OTP for sure. It's like, yeah. <gasps> it would have been cuter if they had it under the wedding awning. Such romance. But I think that would be a little bit like, a little bit too tacky or a little bit too cheesy, might we say, whilst we eat mac and cheese for Crystal. Oh, this is the best first date ever. At nighttime, almost midnight, having mac and cheese under the stars at a wedding venue. Wow. This is the best first date ever in The Sims 4. So romantic. Is that just me or do you think that too? Because I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> okay, so they're eating up. I mean, they're very quiet. I mean, could they socialize a little bit more? Give a heartfelt compliment. They're getting very tired and they haven't had a lot of fun. You know what? Would that be a little bit fun if they could have a little bit of a mess around? Um, let's maybe brighten his day. And I feel like we should maybe at least exchange numbers so they can catch up again. I mean, at the very least. What is needed right now is energy, fun, and hygiene. Pickup line. Ooh, the pickup line's always a risky one, but let's flip. <gasps> let's embrace. Are we moving too quickly? <gasps> Did he like it? Did you like it, Colt? Oh, okay. Suggested conversation is feeling very flirty. You guys, this is cute. I definitely think that it was a good idea to make a mac and cheese. Okay, if they come over here, they could have their first kiss underneath the wedding altar, you guys. This is too much to handle. Oh my gosh, she is exhausted. Okay, come on, let's just have this first kiss. Come under the altar, please just get rid of the mac and cheese now. <gasps> no, they're not under the altar, but they're almost. It, it's pretty much there. <gasps> you guys. This is so romantic! Oh my gosh, this is so cute! These two teens, oh my gosh. Oh my lord, this is too much to handle. What is their relationship at? I mean, the romance isn't that high, so let's just maybe get that relationship up a little bit further. Compliment appearance, let's kiss a little bit, and let's see, they could mess around in the observatory, or they could break in and go upstairs. Oh no, I thought there was going to be a bed up here. Oh, I thought it was like a place you could stay. <gasps> Mess around in the observatory, quickly. This is cute. Where is the observatory? <gasps> oh my gosh, this I did not plan at all, you guys. This is so romantic. She's out until like 2 a.m. at least on a Saturday night. I mean, at least it's not school night. She's She's been out on school nights for longer. No, don't leave, Colt, he's so tired. Maybe he could come stay the night? <gasps> Maybe we could go back to his. Hmm. If he brought a girl home, what would his parents say? Oh, okay, they're off to the observatory. I mean, they look so exhausted though. I kind of feel bad getting them to romance right now, but it's kind of cute. You know what? I can't do it. I can't make them do that in the observatory. I think they should go back to his house. Uh, kind of, maybe she should kind of try and sneak in without his parents seeing her. Okay, we are back at Colt's house and I think we need to try and sneak in and hopefully no one sees us. The dog is here. Okay, who is this? This is Larissa. Okay, if we can just creep into his bedroom, which is, <gasps> his bedroom's all the way over here. It's gonna be impossible. Oh wait, no it's not because he accesses his bedroom from the outside. So if we go over here, <gasps> no girl. No, we can't. Oh my gosh, this is so awkward. Okay, we need to get her to go here. Oh my gosh, and there's Bianca. <gasps> Don't get seen! Oh no! Oh my gosh! Larissa would be like, what is that? Damn it, Larissa totally saw us, but she's totally playing it cool. Okay, let's just jump into the bed with him and stay the night. <gasps> she's so naughty. Sneaking into his bedroom. Maybe Larissa thought that we were her daughter. 
Um, maybe she thought we were Bianca. And Bianca's up and walking around, which is really interesting. <gasps> what? He just got out, up out of his bed? Oi, 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 oi. Come on, come on. He's like, dude, you shouldn't have followed me home. Uh... He's asking us to leave? This is inappropriate. Please stop. <laughs> oh, come on. Do you really think this is inappropriate? Let's see what he actually thinks. Maybe he's just trying to be a good boy. See, he is happy to have Crystal stay the night. He was just having a moment of unsureness. But look, if they're going to mess around, he's probably like, actually, okay, fine, you can stay. Ugh, cult. I really do think that he loves her, though. I think, um... I think he's falling for Crystal. I think if anything, Crystal would break his heart, not he break Crystal's heart, on the other hand. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, well maybe we should swap over to someone else's point of view and uh, yeah, see what happens. Okay, you know how before we said Larissa might have thought that uh, Crystal was actually Bianca? I think that she's realized that that was not in fact her daughter and she is gonna let Crystal have it and kick this girl out of her house right now. Who Now she's snuck into the butler's room thinking she wouldn't be seen, but Larissa, like not many people are gonna get away with <laughs> Larissa. Like Morgan's probably the only person who can sneak around Larissa. So let's do a rude introduction and she can be like, oh, hi, you must be Crystal Harris. The heartbreaker, Harris, as people call you. She's like, look, I am very tired. I don't want you to be here. Um, so let me just tell you something. You are not to ever come in my home again. My kids do not socialize with people like you. And you are not to go near my son ever again. <laughs> That's the kind of mom she is. Um, so she's going to insult Crystal quite a few times. Oh my God, Crystal smells as well. And she's going to tell Crystal to get out of her house and then probably have a word to her son as well and be like, maybe you should go hang out with some other girls' cults. Okay, now she's like, just please leave. Just get out of my house. Crystal's like, okay, oh my God, her nails look so funky. <laughs> she, uh, oh, did you just see that greasy Crystal gave her on the way out? Damn, Crystal walks off so confidently and it's like, bye-bye. Okay, and why is Colt, like, snoozing in here with his dad? I don't know. Well, maybe we should go wake up Colt and have a word to him. Oh, oh, he just tried to run away from his mom. He's like, Mom, goodbye, goodbye. Um, okay, well, it looks like Larissa doesn't want to have to deal with her son, so maybe she can wake up her husband and be like, Can you please have a chat to your son? Do you know that I just saw him with Crystal Harris? He brought Crystal Harris home, and his dad's going to be like, Oh, it's all right, honey. He's just a teenage boy. She should probably call Destiny and tell Destiny everything about what she just saw. Even though it's like 6 a.m. It's probably too early. But she probably doesn't care. <laughs> Destiny's like, what? I'm sleeping. Please, Larissa, call me later. Okay, where's Blaine? Blaine didn't even go speak to Colt. Where is he? You're not impressing your mother. Maybe they can have a little argument about house rules. You should be like, you shouldn't be out and then bringing home girls at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. on a Saturday night. You're only, what, 17 or something? Let's just have that serious chat right now. It's like, son, come on, you need to be a gentleman. That is not what a gentleman does. Okay, uh, now hire a service. Is this our, oh, our butler is here. Did we get, did we ever assign the butler to the bed? Is that the problem? There we go. Um, I think we already did that, but for some reason I don't think it actually worked, so. Anyway, I think what we'll do is get Colt to maybe have something to eat and get a little bit of sleep. Um, and maybe there's another sim that he could get to know and maybe get with. I mean, who have we got here? Uh, who have we met? Maybe they would like him with Emmy or Lauren. Maybe we should get the parents to, like hook those two up or something. Uh, also, we already have the service we need, so it's okay. Also, what's wrong with the doggy? What is wrong with the doggy? Oh no, we're going through this all over again. Okay, let's uh, let's take care of the dog. Ask to go potty. Uh, we also need to give you a bath. Okay, and uh, yeah, let's let's bring the let's bring the doggy outside. I think the doggy will use the doggy door out here though, which I prefer because I don't want the dog to like get lost in the neighborhood. I rather him come to the fenced area. There's also some training parts of this house too, um, so we could 
command to use. But we'll we'll rush we'll wash the dog first. I love that bathtub, by the way. She's still totally in love with Blaine, so clearly she doesn't think anything's amiss. But then Blaine, how is his relationship going with Morgan? He is so in love with Morgan. And he's in love with his wife. Oh my my my, that is so naughty. Well, I reckon after we wash the dog, we might actually get Blaine out with Morgan again. Maybe they should have the love child we were talking about. Some of you guys were keen on that. Uh, so we could do that. Oh look, the puppy is all clean. Okie dokie, so we are now in a household we haven't visited yet in this Let's Play. This is the Ortega household, or Ortega. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that correctly, but this is our Hispanic uh, family. And obviously this house is Spanish inspired. Uh, so I'm glad to introduce you guys. Now I built this house a while ago. It is under my username on the gallery. It's a nice, uh, a nice unusual kind of shaped house, but it's pretty cool. I like it. I mean, again, it's another affluent family. There's no surprises there. And I have the hiccups. <laughs> and here we have the marvelous Philippe or take up. Now, Philippe probably does have a bit of a wondering eye as well. Uh, his wife may too. I don't know. Maybe they have an open relationship. I have no idea, but I don't think they are that committed to each other in the end. Um, but he is a hall of famer. He was an amazing sporting star. So he's obviously retired now, but he got famous that way. And he's very proud of his daughter, Astrid, which I know is a Swedish name, <laughs> but I just thought the name Astrid was really, really good. So I think he'd be quite strict with his kids. So maybe he can have like a strict chat with Astrid and ask his daughter about school. And I think on a Sunday, maybe Astrid should head out and try and go meet some new friends because I don't think she actually knows anyone. No, she needs to know some people. So uh, she's probably just moved to the area too. Okay, so Astrid is now at the Mikitani family's residence, which we have been to a couple of times. Um, but let's go say hello right now. Uh, introduce ourselves to Akita who I think Astrid would get along with really, really well. I mean, Akira, not Akita. I always call him Akita. Um, because he is kind of fabulous and glam and edgy and she likes fashion. And I think she just really, really wants a friend. And I can kind of see them getting close together when she doesn't really know many other people and him introducing her to others. And he could be like, hey, do you know Crystal Harris? Apparently she had an awesome rooftop party the other day and I wasn't invited. I'm so upset. She's like, why weren't you invited? And he can be like, well, I don't actually know her personally, but we should get invites there. <laughs> She's like, oh, that would be fun. Uh, so maybe let's just chat to him, compliment his appearance. I mean, these two, I, I've always said that he's bi, so he could go either way. Why are you arguing? Did I tell her to do that? Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> why was she arguing? They're meant to be best friends, you guys. You're not going along with my storyline. And we can't get into the house because we haven't introduced ourselves yet. <gasps> Ooh, friends. Kimoko can be friends with um with Mia. Okay, let's uh bring Mia Ortega here and get her to socialize. Friendly introduction. Oh, she was hugging no one. So cute. All right, so these guys are having fun together, which is kind of cool. Uh, getting to know each other, which I really, really like. And hopefully soon they can be best friends. I would like that. Okay, so I've just switched over to Akira's point of view. <laughs> He's taking a selfie of his muscles. And his sister Emmy here is getting to know Astrid as well. So I feel like these three are going to have a nice little friendship and get to know each other really well, which is kind of sweet. Um, so we'll maybe get Emmy to show off her outfit because clearly all three of them really like fashion. Uh, she's very passionate about music and fashion. And let's see, is there anyone else we could invite over? Uh, Astrid, we could invite Crystal and Esther over actually. And speaking of which, Akira knew about the rooftop party because his sister Emmy was there. Oh my gosh, Astrid, why are you being so mean to Akira? Like, maybe they're just... Oh, Akira just learnt that Astrid is a mean person. Oh my gosh, I thought she was nice. Why is she being so mean to Akira? Because he was nice to her? She's like taking advantage of him? Emmy's like, what is her problem? 
and we're just trying to be nice to her. Maybe let's invite Lauren to hang out too and Bianca. Oh my gosh, this family knows everyone. Everyone is coming over. Ooh, and Crystal does not get along with Bianca very well. Oh, she's so sad about school. She's like, hi, Kira. Hey, how close is he to... I don't think he even... Does he even know Crystal? No, but he's heard about Crystal from his sister. So he probably really wants to know Crystal. So Crystal's kind of become the it girl. Is she crying? Crystal, console Crystal Harris. Oh my gosh, Akira, can you go get Crystal? He's never even met her. Bianca's just sitting there. She and she won't even go console Crystal. She's like, my mom told me everything that happened between you and my brother. It's like, Crystal, come out. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, Akira is so nice. <gasps> Bianca just greased her off so badly. And Crystal just put on her brave face and was like, hi, I don't care about you. Oh, and these Lauren's like becoming better friends. With okay, let's do a friendly introduction to Crystal. I feel like this is a friendship that could go really well compared to him and Astrid, which clearly Astrid's not very nice. Try to cheer up. Okay, Akira's like my favorite guy ever now. And maybe he has the balls to say to Bian Bianca to like, go away. Ask Bianca to leave. Oh, he is such a sweet guy. He's consoling her. <laughs> Bianca leaves, good. It's like, hey, I've heard that you're really, really cool. I'm so glad I actually got to meet you. She would be really embarrassed because she probably didn't want him to meet her while she was upset. Oh, these guys are awesome. Help fix bad relationship with Bianca. <gasps> Maybe he's like, look, Bianca's actually really cool. You should get to know her more. She's like, I'm pretty sure this isn't sarcasm. You're right. I'll go talk to them the next time I see them. <laughs> She's like, yeah, right, I will. And through about guitar solos. They're probably into uh, homework, to homework together. What? Into guitar together. <gasps> Maybe you can be like, Bianca, why were you so mean to Crystal? She was so upset. And Bianca can be like, she's just not that nice a person. <laughs> okay, well, Crystal's getting going. She's not feeling that great. So I'm not surprised that she wants to go home and probably have some private time to cry it out. But I think her and Akira can be really good friends. I think that's super nice. She's like, see ya, Bianca. Bianca wouldn't even say anything to her. Uh, anyway, well, let's get to know Bianca a little bit more because, you know, I feel like Akira is like the guy who kind of wants to get along with everyone. He's fashionable, he's cool, his family is really well known. So, of course, like his dad is <laughs> famous, a famous composer. So I feel like someone like Bianca would want to get to know him. And so he's kind of friends with everyone. He's in demand. And I feel like what we should do is maybe switch to Bianca's point of view and get her to create a group because she knows a few sims now she's kind of enemies or becoming enemies very quickly with crystal so i feel like they should have two groups that kind of rival each other i love his lip gloss and his like bit of eye makeup and his hair he's so fab he just marches to the beat of his own drum and i think that's really cool now we've switched to Bianca's point of view. I think she's probably thinking, okay, I need to start a group here. So let's create a group. Uh, she's definitely not joining the Chicky Babe. She's going to create her own group, which she can call the... How about we call it Bianca's Bishes? <laughs> Bianca's Bishes, uh, which I think like Bianca probably wouldn't say the word bish, but I think it makes sense for us. Uh, and of course it's invite only. And she'll have something a little more like a rainbow. So actually, something a little bit more preppy would be good. What's a preppy item? I mean, maybe a coffee cup. Coffee cup. Uh, and of course, Emmy is going to be a part of it. Colt, uh, her brother is a part of it. Akira can be a part of it. Uh, Crystal, no. Ajax isn't cool enough to be part of her group. Lauren can be. Who else? Uh, Astrid could have been. But did she not get to know Astrid? Oh, she doesn't know Astrid yet? I feel like her and Astrid could be like a power team together. 
I just said that they will be friendly to each other, they'll hug everyone and drink coffee. I feel like that's what Bianca's fishes would do, so she can have a little gathering right now. I'm not really sure how her needs are. Wow, her needs are like, look like they've been cheated. <laughs> I swear I did not cheat her needs before doing this, but hey, I'll, I'll take it if the needs are full. Uh, Akira's really busting. <gasps> oh, you know what? If she starts a group here, she should introduce cults um, to Emmy and be like, hey, cult, have you met Emmy? She's really, really nice. You should get to know her a little bit. Um, oh, and I think over here, her dad, Tadashi, would be really happy that um, Colt's having a chat with her. He'd be like, ah, oh, I like to see my daughter getting to know some nice boys in town. Um, so maybe he can be like, oh, you're really cute or something. Let's not boast about messing around because I don't think that's very nice. Oh, she's so awkward. She like sat up and sat down again. <gasps> that was bold. Wow. She's like, Thanks, cult. <laughs> this is like a cute little romance. Oh my gosh, Crystal's gonna be so upset. Praise Bianca Bish's leader, which is his sister. Wait, why is he praising, praising his sister? He's probably annoyed at his sister right now. Let's not do that. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna finish this part right here. Do make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on notifications so you can be sure to get updates every time I upload the next part and so you can be one of the early birds, the early fan birds, the early little birdies who get to comment first and then I can respond to your comments so we can all be happy little birdies. Anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and I look forward to speaking to you soon. So, so.